Hello YouTube, my name is Michael. Today I'm going to be doing a video about Carbonite. For those of you that are not familiar with Carbonite, Carbonite is an online backup service. So uh, if you're thinking about buying Carbonite, uh, let me just kind of go over some things here that I've experienced and uh, then you can make your decision on if you want to buy it still or not. Alright, so um, Carbonite states that they have unlimited backup capacity. Um, and that it's supposed to be simple and you know blah 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 uh, my experience hasn't been too great with carbonite um, I purchased the service uh, about eight months ago on November 6th of 2009 today is July 8th 2010 and I still have not been successful on backing up all of my files um, I contacted customer service a while back and basically they walked me through some steps um, deleting or uh, uninstalling and then reinstalling it and going and uh, restarting the the backup process. Uh, nothing's worked. I've tried doing a lot of different things. Um, I don't know if maybe the Carbonite service is just always slow like that. Maybe they're overloaded with uh, other people trying to back up. I don't know what it is. Um, I do know that I have a lot of files that I've tried to back up. Uh, for instance, the backup disk or the disk that I'm trying to back up has 523.41 of uh, files on it so I do understand that that's a lot of files and uh, I know that can take some time so it has been close to a year now and I'm getting pretty tired of not having the service that I paid for um, eight months ago so um, if my file were to burn out today I still don't have my files backed up because their backup service is so slow so what I did um, uh, two days ago was I went in here and I changed my backup settings. I basically deselected all of my hard drives, uh, deselected everything except for what's most important to me, uh, which are my photos. And I can't even back up my movies yet because my photos aren't done. But I know movies are going to take a lot longer, so I'm starting with the small stuff. So I'm starting with the photos. Um, I do have a lot of family photos, you know, my the birth of my two uh, daughters, um, special occasions, um, holidays, all that good stuff are all, um, you know, in my fold, uh, my photos folder. So if my hard drive were to go out, I would be devastated and my wife would kill me. Um, luckily, I have all this stuff backed up with um, Time Machine. So if you have a Mac and you have Time Machine, I highly recommend that. Um, as far as Carbonite, which is what the video is about, um, Carbonite, uh, I'm not happy with. Uh, I'll be honest, right now at this point, I would not recommend it to anybody. Um, it's just too slow on backing up. So right now, just for my, my uh, photos, it says my backup contains 40.30 gigabytes, and it's awaiting 37.28 gigabytes. So it is moving. It's moving very slowly. In the last four hours, it's backed up about 20 files. Um, at this rate, I don't know when it'll be done. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to do a follow-up video. Um, today's July 8th, 2010. Um, it's uh, 12.57, so 1 a.m. in the morning. Um, I'll do a follow-up video once this is done, if it ever um, is completed. Um, I'll do a follow-up video whether it's complete or not, just to kind of let people know what's going on with it. Uh, once this is done, <laughs> um, I'm planning on trying to back up my whole hard drive, which I should be able to because on the Carbonite website it says unlimited backup capacity. But if it takes all year to back up, or even longer, and I'm continuously paying $54.95 a year but I'm, I don't have my files backed up, I don't know if this is a great solution. So with that said, uh, I'm going to leave this off with if you have a Mac, use uh, Time Machine. It's For me, it's a lifesaver. It's It's got all my files in there. Backups are easy, but uh, as far as Carbonite goes, I would not recommend it. Um, if you're a Carbonite customer and you're happy with the service, I would love to hear about that. So post, post you know, your experience in the comments section on the bottom. Um, if you were thinking about getting Carbonite, let me know what you think about this video. Um, if you're a Carbonite customer and you're going through the same thing, your files are not backing up, um, you're having the same issue where they pretty much just stick there and um, you're getting maybe one file backed up every hour or whatever the case is, um, put that in the comments too. Let other people know what's going on. Um, Carbonite, for the price, 
it's awesome if it actually works. If it doesn't work, you're just throwing away $54.95 a year away. Um, and with the price of hard drives nowadays, you could buy an external hard drive with a lot of space that you can back up your files with for about 50 bucks anyway. So that's yours to keep and you don't have to worry about anything. Um, other than that, that's, that's all I got to say about Carbonite. Um, I definitely would not recommend it to anybody at this point in time. Um, if they update their servers or update their service and, and uh, things start moving a little bit faster, then maybe I'll remake the you know, video and, and start recommending it. But at this point, I don't recommend uh, Carbonite. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, please feel free to post at the bottom. Um, if you like this video, you feel free to subscribe. I'm going to be uh, posting videos on here uh, for different companies that, that I have services with, uh, basically saying if I like or dislike their service. Also, before I forget, um, if you have any other services that you would recommend uh, as far as a backup solution, um, please feel free to post it in the comments. I'd appreciate that. I'm sure other people would appreciate it as well. Um, I'm not too familiar with backup systems for uh, Windows PC. Uh, I'm not too fond of Windows. Uh, anybody out there that loves Windows, more power to you. I'm just not a Windows person. So um, if you have any backup solutions for people that are on Windows um, as well, post them in the comments. Um, share your knowledge. All right, man, help people out. It's a good thing. Have a good one. Thanks for watching the video. Oh, yeah, one more thing I wanted to uh, go over really quick just in case somebody out there says, oh, well, maybe this guy's Internet speed slow. Uh, maybe that's why my downloads are, or my uploads are taking so long for the Carbonite server. Um, let me go ahead and do a speed test real quick for you. Uh, my internet speed is actually pretty fast. I'm with Charter Cable. Uh, they have pretty impressive speeds for the price. Uh, I'm real happy with uh, Charter. Um, my download speed is 24.86 megabytes per second. Um, upload speed is testing right now. That's what's probably more important, the upload speed, is 1.82 megabytes per second. So it's, it's, it's a pretty fast uh, inter internet connection as far as download speed and upload speed. Um, but just to show you real quick, uh, Carbonite, it's uh, 137 now. It's going to be about 1.40 a.m. Um, this backup is still in progress. Uh, hasn't really moved since, since I started recording the video at about 1 a.m. Um, so in the last 40 minutes... It's 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 hasn't really moved. So um, just to kind of prove to you, my internet speed's good and the Carbonite backup is pretty slow. Um, that's it, man. Uh, have a good one and take care.